I'm going to show you how to set up the GE in-wall smart switch. It's a model number 12722 uh, using a Vera Edge with the uh, UI7 interface. So this is the switch that uh, is right in front of you there, the box. And then in my demo I have on the far right is the GE smart switch. So that's the one I'm going to set up there. Nothing's powered on yet so there's a little LED that will come on that's blue when it's powered up. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Turn it on. And you can see the little LED comes on. These, this is just bare out of the box. The LED comes on and it can operate it. If you just push the on button, it will light the light that's connected to it. So it will work as just a normal switch without any programming or setup. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll show you my user interface there, that's the Vera. So first thing you'll want to do is go to the uh, devices setting here. Uh, devices and then there's a, there's a little button called add device over here on the right hand side. So right there. So you want to select Add Device. In this case, it, you can just select a generic device. And gotta scroll back up and hit Next. And now it's about ready to go, so it's telling you to get set. So now you hit next, and now it's waiting to, to hear from the device. So I'm going to just shoot over here, do an easy click on it. It comes over here, and you can see it says in the blue there, it says device is detected, add remove, and it's going to add this node. Adding it is my device number 164. And then it's asking me, do I want to name the device? Well, you have to name it. And I'm just going to say GE Switch. And I'm not going to choose a room. Say finish. It says it's adding the device now. Takes a minute. Okay, once the device is there, it should show up and it'll put it up at the top where there's uh, in a place called no room because I didn't assign a room to it. Okay, so it did finally come back and you can see that I have a GE switch and it says it's on because I left it on. So when I did the include I just left it on and there it goes. So I can make it uh, just by on the interface here, I can tell it to go off. And you can hear it go off. And it did go off. And I click it on. And so program control. So that's, that's all it takes to include a Z-Wave device uh, on Vera. Pretty easy.